Barracuda fish. The Barracuda fish, known and feared for its large size and fierce appearance, it is the protagonist of today's article. It is a saltwater fish which, like the sole, belongs to the genus Spirena. It is curious to be the only one to belong to the Spirena D family. Its scientific name is Spirena barracuda. In this video we will explain all its characteristics, lifestyle, diet and reproduction. Hope you find it interesting and want to learn more about barracuda fish. Main features. This species is also known as the giant barracuda due to its large size. It inhabits all the tropical and subtropical oceans of the world. It can live in warm warm waters and it is also found in mangroves and deep reefs with a depth limit of 110 meters. They are large fish that they are about 1 meter long and weigh between 2.5 and 9 kilograms. There are exceptionally large specimens that weigh over 23 kilograms and can be 5 feet tall. The color it has is grayish blue for its upper part. On the bottom, it has a silvery white, chalky discoloration. It may show darker rows transversely with black spots on the undersides. It has a characteristic color in the second dorsal fin and the anal and caudal fins and is the variation between dark purple to black and with white tips. It is usually a solitary fish when it reaches adulthood. Especially when night comes, they tend to wander alone after the hard day. However, during the day you can see how the adults teach the young to hunt other specimens and learn to protect themselves against predation. These are fish that often attack divers, inflicting severe damage. If they set their mind to it, they are able to kill quickly and destroy more species and specimens than are eaten. These are some of the reasons why it is a very feared fish, not only for its appearance, but for its behavior. Only sometimes they don't attack unless attacked. Barracuda feeding. It is a fish capable of attacking other species with great ferocity and speed. They use surprise as a weapon. It is a fairly opportunistic species that takes advantage of a few weaker moments to make its appearance on the scene. When they visualize the prey, they jump on it causing a rush of up to 43 km per hour in speed. This maneuver makes your capture percentage much higher. When they are adults, this predation is done alone. But being young, several of them come together frequently to ensure the capture of the prey and to develop more practice and learning. They feed mainly on other fish of equal or smaller size to them. Sometimes it can be seen hunting larger specimens. To do this, they tear the pieces of meat, weakening the prey. They are truly competitive and can be seen competing with species such as tuna, needlefish and even dolphins. Among the variety of fish on which the barracuda feeds, there are groupers, snappers, small tunas, catfish, anchovies, herring and red mullet. At all he bites them in half to completely weaken them from the start of the hunt. It has also been seen eating smaller prey which it uses as sporadic food when ahead. Due to its high catching ability and hunting ability, there are few natural predators that barracuda fish have. Those who could most be considered their predators are white sharks, killer whales and humans, we catch it to eat. Reproduction underscore. Barracuda breeding. About the reproduction. The details are missing to know. For example, the time and place of spawning are not well known. It is believed to be done in the spring when the temperatures are higher, while others believe they can be done all year round except during the colder winter months. Spawning patterns may not be the same in all parts of the world where it is found. What is known is that it is not a species that must protect the eggs until they hatch, but they leave them adrift, where they take shape until they hatch. Normally, if they spawn near estuaries where the waters are shallower, the larvae that hatch from the eggs they go to shallower places covered with weeds to feel protected. At only 80 mm long, the larvae begin to move into deeper water. It is already 300 mm in diameter when they manage to move in open water and when they measure 500 mm they move away towards the sea, moving away completely from estuaries. Barracuda fish and humans. The fame of the barracudas is similar to that of the shark. They are dangerous for divers and swimmers who are near the coast. By having scavenging habits, can confuse divers, believing they are other large predators and follow them to eat the remains of the prey they catch. It's rare, but there have been instances where swimmers have reported being bitten by barracudas. Normally, these attacks are usually due to the poor visibility in the water and the confusion of these fish with other larger predators. 
Avoid touching with your hands or trying to grab a barracuda as they are able to rip your skin and tear it off. Although these fish do not like humans as food, if we try to catch it, it will think it is prey trying to escape or outwit it and it will end up biting you. It is used by Africans for soups and sauces and they smoke it to protect it and give it a better flavor. I hope this video helped you learn more about barracuda fish.